children are still dying because they happen to live uh, in the wrong place, and that's not acceptable. It's very important that we find ways to reach children and mothers and families wherever they are. Mozambique is one of the poorest countries in the world. You have children dying of preventable diseases like uh, uh, diphtheria, like polio, measles, like tetanus, diseases which in the developed world don't cause deaths at all. It's not acceptable that a child in the Western world would live longer than a child in a remote area. We can change that. Eu tenho 22 anos. Eu tenho quatro filhos. E dois filhos perdi. Estava doente. É preciso você forçar muito. Mas por causa de faltar de falta de dinheiro aqui. There is a cure available. There's just a cure doesn't reach the population that we're talking about. Typically, people will walk between five to ten kilometers to get to the nearest clinic. It's a long walk, yes, but their children need the vaccines, so they have to go. There is no other way. Unfortunately, sometimes when they go to the clinics after walking five, ten or twenty kilometers, they go there and there is no vaccines at all. The vaccines did not reach the, the district because the, the transport was broken or the vaccines was spoiled because the freezer was broken for two, three and more days or because it was raining and there is no passage to the other village. When it rains in Mozambique, it rains really in Mozambique. It's like uh, someone opened the sky and then poured the water on top of your head. <laughs> The infrastructure is not prepared to accommodate that much water, so usually the water stays on the street and becomes very difficult to drive around. Typically, it will take about three days to reach the most remote village. We have families that have to walk two or three hours to get to the clinics and be told that uh, they have to come back the next day. So if you do that a couple of times, you, I mean, you will give up on the system. So my goal was to try to find a way to ensure that uh, that doesn't happen. So we selected a territory in northern Mozambique where we tried to design a system that would make sure that the kids, wherever they live, would be reached by uh, the existing vaccines and, uh, and medicine. Cabo Delgado had the lowest immunization coverage. It was the poorest province when we started in 2000. And we decided that if we succeed in Cabo Delgado, we could succeed almost anywhere. So Village Reach works with the government and local partners to ensure that vaccines get to the most remote areas of the country. You know, the vaccine is a temperature sensitive commodity, so you have to keep it within a very strict range and that requires a very rigorous refrigeration and transport system. In Cabo Delgado, they were using kerosene-powered refrigerators. Those fridges were not very stable. So we did a study, we looked around in Africa and other parts and determined that the best fridges for the province was propane-powered. The challenge we faced immediately was that there was no propane in the province, so we had to start our propane company. Fidagas operates like any typical energy company. It imports gas, bottle it at its plant, and then distribute it to our customers that include the, the Minister of Health for the clinics. Then we sell it to our commercial users, and gradually we're setting up programs to facilitate the adoption of propane by families. Our program is not only a social program. It has a component of, a, let me call it, social entrepreneurship. What's innovative about Villegas is that the profit from Villegas will be plowed back into our health system so that the income can be reused to support and expand our healthcare system. We needed a local partner because we needed to really make sure that we understood what the challenges were. Village Reach needed to have someone who was already very much involved with the local realities living in the terrain, working with communities, and that was FDC, the Foundation for Community Development. FDC and Village Reach coordinate with the Ministry of Health 
to organize a logistic system that take the vaccines, but not only the vaccines, but also the medicines and other medical equipment and the gas to the streets and from the streets to the village. It's not easy to reach in the most remote areas of the world, and that's why they haven't been reached. And uh, we've done it, and it's working in northern Mozambique. We're reaching now uh, five million people in Cabo Delgado and Ampula. Agora não há falta. Basta você ir lá para a vacina. We did not only concentrate in providing vaccines. We made sure that we create the basic conditions for vaccines to be stored properly and to be protected from high temperatures because Mozambique is a very, very hot country. When we arrived in northern Mozambique, the official statistics were that one in three children were fully immunized. And uh, after five years of operation, we brought that number up to nine in ten children being fully immunized. That for us is really success in the sense that we build trust in the public health system. What we've proven in northern Mozambique is that people are ready to uh, take control of their life and to change their communities and change their life. Bon dia to Aten. Bon dia. And if you work closely with individuals and communities, you'd be surprised by the level of latent energy and enthusiasm that you can unleash. So it can be a model for Africa, but if we are to reach every child everywhere, we need to concentrate on that one last mile. And that's what we are doing.